A manager is forming a six-person team to work on a certain project. From the 11 candidates available for the team, the manager has already chosen three. So I have 11 people. We have these six spots here. Three have already been chosen. Hello, hello, hello. Three people, A, B, and C. So we don't really care about them. So out of the 11, three have been chosen. So there's only eight people left. And now we know that there are three spots left. So one, two, and three. And we're choosing from a total of eight. Whenever we're dealing with choosing from a group, larger number to a smaller number, we are, de we are dealing with combinations, not permutations. So that would make the numerator here in the formula, eight factorial. The bottom would be this number minus the number you're choosing for, which in this case is three, which would give us five factorial. And then simply the number you're choosing for. That's combinations formula. Now this looks horrible. So I mean, Definitely scare a lot of people, but doesn't have to because this 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, takes care of the 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 up there, leaving us on top with 8 times 7 times 6. By the way, 3 factorial is 6, so this whoop, cancels that out. And just like that, 8 times 7, 56, answer choice C.